Hi everyone, it's Mari for Honey Bee Stamps and I'm going to do something a little bit different for my Friday card video. I'm actually not going to do a voiceover today. I'm going to create this card live as in it's recorded, but I'm not doing the voiceover today. I'm just going to talk to you while I make my card as I record. So a little bit different. I hope you like this. So we're going to make this fun card here today. And I'm going to give you all the dimensions as I go along and that sort of thing. I just want to go through first the products that we're going to be using for this project. We are going to be using the amazing Bicycle Builder die set, Honey Cut. This is a really fun little Honey Cut set that coordinates so nicely with some of the other products, lots of the other products in the Honey Bee Shop. But specifically with the most recent release, it really does go nicely, pairs nicely with the Riding By stamp and coordinating die set. So the Riding By set has all kinds of really fun sentiments. Some are curved, which go really nicely here. They also go nicely with the Market Cart um, honey cut set as well super fun lots of ways you can use this set and the coordinating die set cuts out all of these different images and sentiments which is so cool one of my most favorite things about honeybee is all of their coordinating sentiment dies it's a unique quality to honeybee I feel um, I really love that and it's amazing so I am also going to be using this really fun paper pad that came out in the last couple of months. This is the Team Tie-Dye 6x6 paper, paper pad, which was designed and created by the design team. So you can see the members of the design team here in the black section, everyone that uh, contributed to this paper pad. And it's just, there's so many really fun um, prints in here and papers love those and I am going to use this paper from the paper pad for my background so I am going to go ahead and get some cardstock trimmed up and we're gonna to get to the project today to make this fun little card okay so I have all of my papers trimmed out here I'm gonna give you the measurements my card base is some Gina K sea glass and I have trimmed that to six and a quarter by 11 and scored it at 5.5. So my card base is 5.5 by six and a quarter. So it's a little bit of a different size, but what I really love about the crafting industry is they make us all of these tools that allow us to customize everything. So I do have an envelope maker, a custom envelope maker. I do also have some large um, square envelopes that I have purchased that would also fit this card size, but I do have the envelope maker um, scoreboard so I can totally make a custom sized envelope for this project. And I did wanna do something unique with the Bicycle Builder die set and that is to create an entire um, bike. Uh, this bike um, Honeycut set really was meant to be just to create the front part of that bike, but I thought, oh, it's kind of fun to create the whole bike. And I know that it doesn't have a seat, and I'm sure that you could take other parts of the dies and sort of like make a seat out of things, but I just, I thought it was fine the way that it was. I kind of like this. I thought it was super cute. And so going to duplicate that for you. So this is our card base and then I've gone ahead also and cut a black mat. This is just some plain smooth black cardstock and this is trimmed to about uh, five and seven eighths by five and a quarter. So five and seven eighths by five and a quarter is our mat and that's just going to give us a really nice border around this beautiful artsy looking card base. Now this piece of paper is trimmed to five inches by five and a half. So five by five and a half. And I did trim it with my Tim Holtz deco edge trimmer, which is a really fun trimmer that gives, and you can see the edge on the trimmer there. It's just got this deco finish on it the blade is a decal edge so and what's really interesting too is the pattern doesn't really repeat so you can get a unique cut no matter where you cut it on that blade which I think is kind of interesting and so I have used that to trim out the edges of my card front just to make it look 
just different, you know, rather than just, again, this smooth edge. So just something a little bit um, interesting in that way. So now what I want to do is I'm going to pop up that black layer, the black I'm going to pop that up on some foam adhesive and adhere it to my card base and the patterned paper here is just going to be adhered flat. I'm going to die cut my bicycle builder wheels. The tires I'm going to cut using this honey cut here. I'm going to use this honey cut here on my white cardstock and I'm going to trim that out twice for my tires of my bike and then for the spokes of the bike I'm going to go ahead and trim that out with my die cutting machine using again the, the Gina K sea glass. So I'm going to grab that out. I'm actually going to take all of these out and get them ready. Okay so I have all of my pieces out here on the proper color of cardstock so the the little handles I'm going to cut out of some silver metallic I'm going to cut this little ring here twice from silver and that's going to be the little center of the spokes on the bike. So I'm going to cut that twice from the silver. There you can see the silver handle bars. I'm also going to cut, like I said earlier, two of these tire tubes. I'm going to cut two of the spokes from the Gina K Sea Glass. I'm going to cut one of the structure of the bike which is where we're going to attach the tires uh, to. I'm going to cut one of those and I'm going to cut a basket and the little um, ends of the handlebars out of the brown cardstock as well. So you can just see those details there. And so I'm going to die cut all of those pieces out and I am going to show you how we're going to put those together. Okay, so I have my black cardstock all attached to my card base with a little bit of foam adhesive. I just used this foam adhesive on the back and adhered it down to my card base. Now I'm going to take my Honey Bee Stamps Creative Precision Tip glue tube and I'm going to use that to attach my patterned paper here. I'm just going to use a, a small bead, I don't need too much. And we are going to go ahead and adhere that onto our card base, just eyeballing it to get it straight. And the thing I love so much, or one of the many things about that glue tube, is it just allows you a little bit of wiggle time so that it doesn't grab right away. And then you can just find the sweet spot and adhere that down, smooth it out. Now we are going to go ahead and start building our bicycle. First thing I want to do is I want to take my tires and I want to again take my glue tube. I'm going to use that. I'm also going to use my tweezers to help me here. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of liquid adhesive on there. And then I am going to adhere that to my tire. So there's tire number one. Just gonna run my finger around the rim, grab any extra adhesive, and I'm gonna do the same thing for the second tire. Just going to grab this. It's just easier to use the tweezers, I think. And I do love these new honeybee tweezers. They are amazing. They really are. So I'm going to use those to stick that down. So now we have our two tires all set to go. We've got our frame of our bike here. And we have, so that's going to go there. The other um, part of our bike is going to go back here, which we're going to adhere right onto the card. And here's our sweet little basket. I absolutely love that. That's going to go on the front of our bike. Um, I have the handlebars, which we're going to adhere on right now. To adhere those, I'm actually going to put the glue on the card base itself. And I'm just going to flip this around and go ahead and get those handlebars. Love these tweezers for helping do this fine detail work. Does make it 
a lot easier. I'm going to put a little dab of my adhesive again on those handlebars where these sweet little brown pieces go. Just going to grab those, get those adhered on like so. Grab the other little guy, get that on. There we have our sweet little handlebars all completed. And we also have to add our little silver bits to our spokes to the center of our tire. It's going to put a tiny little dab onto the base. And I'm going to grab my little silver guys and add those on there. So you can see how simple it is to build this bike. It is really easy to do and it is such a sweet embellishment for a card project. I just absolutely love it. I think it's adorable. So the bike is going to go kind of down here towards the bottom and I would really like to attach my bike um, with a little bit of foam adhesive. So I'm going to go ahead and get my foam adhesive out and I will be back. One thing I wanted to mention is when you're placing your bicycle, if you're planning to do this curved sentiment on the back, you have to make sure that you leave a little bit of a gap. So when I'm putting this wheel on the front here, adhering it to my card base, I just wanna make sure that I get it placed about a quarter of an inch from the edge here and so that I can have space for everything that I want to add. Now I'm going to use some 3L by Scrapbook Adhesives foam strips. I love these things. They're so good for shaker cards and all kinds of different projects where you need a strip. You take the backing off and it allows you to curve that um, foam adhesive. I don't need that much. I just need a little bit. So I'm going to take that off, put this extra back on the on the container or on the sheet. And there you can just see I'm going to peel that off. And now I'm just going to use my tweezers to help me, whoops, help me place this onto my card. So I'm going to remember I need it to about there. And I want to leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom as well. So that's where I'm going to put that front tire, okay? Now, the next thing I need to do before I add this is I need to add this part of my bicycle on because I want to make sure that I add it so that it's in the right place. You know, this is going to go in the right spot, right? Because this is only so long. So what I want to do for that is, again, I want to take a little bit of this foam adhesive. I don't need very much, like just a tiny little piece, and I can use my craft pick to help me take that off of there. I'm just going to take just this little piece here and I am going to put that kind of in the thickest spot. So probably right here or the widest spot of the die cut piece. Just take the backer off of my adhesive and now I'm going to go ahead and add this onto my bike. Just watching the curved line of the die cut, making sure that it lines up properly with my bike. And once I'm happy, I'm going to just press down on that foam adhesive up here. That's going to keep that in place. And then I can go in later with more foam adhesive and get the rest of this. Or not foam adhesive, but regular adhesive. So what I'm thinking I'm probably going to do, and I can do it now, is add a little dab of liquid adhesive under here so that this part of my bike stays intact so that when the recipient gets the card, it's all nicely adhered. The great thing about your Honeybee Precision glue is that it is going to dry clear. Just gonna scooch that over just a little bit. And I think I like that, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now this can be added back here 
and we just want to add it so that it is attached to the bike. Like I said earlier, yes, this is where the seat of the bike would naturally or normally go. Um, I'm not too worried about that. This is a whimsical, fun little card. It doesn't matter if the bike is completely anatomically looking correct. Um, it's just meant to suggest uh, a bike. And I think it does. So I love it. And like I said, this is um, a different way that you can use your bicycle builder. So instead of just using it as a half bike, you can use it as a whole bike. Why not? It's just fun. And I'm going to go ahead and add this on here so that we have our bike attached. Okay, so now I'm probably going to go in and just strategically add a few other little bits of foam adhesive to make sure that my bike isn't sort of like unattached <laughs> to the card. So I'm just going to grab some little bits of foam and stick them in under the different areas. Okay, so I have some white cardstock in my Mini Misty. This is Nina Solar White Classic Crest 80 pound cardstock. I believe you can find that in the Honey Bee Shop. You typically can, although I have to say I didn't check to see if it's in stock, but you can sure double check that, check that out. I am going to be using the Happy Birthday sentiment from the uh, Riding By stamp set. I'm also going to use the little presents to put inside my basket, which I have attached to the front of my bicycle with a little bit of foam adhesive. And I'm also going to stamp out the special delivery sentiment. You could also do riding by to say, happy birthday. That actually would be cute. Let's, let's switch it up a little bit because I did that special delivery last time. Let's change the card slightly. <laughs> ever so slightly. Um, so we got writing by to say, and I think that's all we need to stamp out. Now I am going to use a Copic friendly ink because I'm going to do a little bit of Copic coloring on my project today. I'm going to use the Be Creative Intense Black Alcohol Marker Friendly Ink. This is a really fantastic ink that also has a re-inker that you can purchase. So I really love this Honey Bee Stamps brand black ink that is alcohol ink friendly, which is fun. And it stamps out very nicely. And you'll see that here when I get it stamped out. Just kind of let that sit on there for a second and sink in. Lift that up. Put a little bit more pressure here. And we can just re-ink that sentiment and those presents. The happy birthday looks pretty good. I might need a little dab more. And then, like I said before, the really great thing is all of these um, images have a coordinating die. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut these all out and come back. Okay, so I have everything all die cut out using those coordinating honey cuts with that riding by uh, coordinating honey cut set. And I'm going to color the president. <laughs> Not the presidents, the presents with BG10 and BG11, my Copic markers. And the great thing is that those images are all stamped in sentiments with that intense black Copic friendly ink. So we're good to go. And I have let it dry for a little bit here. So it should be all ready to go ahead and color. So I'm going to start off with my BG10. I'm just doing some really, really simple coloring here. And I'm just going to go ahead and do a base layer all over all of the presents with the BG10. And then I'm going to go in and do a little bit of detail shading with that BG11. It seems like my BG10 might be a little bit dry. Might need a little bit of a refill. Just making sure I'm staying in frame there for you. And 
we are going to go in with a little bit of BG 11 and just do a little bit of shading here and there where possibly there might be a few little shadows on our little present presents plural this looks like a little envelope here I think doesn't it I don't know super cute I love this all these little fun packages that are getting delivered to this person by bicycle how cute so we're just going to do that um i don't know if i just darken this up a tiny little bit by going over it again seems pretty light and i don't necessarily want to get another color could get a darker bg color but i think i'm just going to go over it again it's going to make it really really simple so that's really all we need to do there. And now we can, this can zoom you back out again, and we can go ahead and assemble the rest of our card. So for this part here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more of this foam adhesive to the back of our sentiment here. This is another one of those 3L foam strips. And Probably going to trim it to about there. And the great thing is, once you take that release paper off the back, it's a lot more bendy and it just is going to go onto that curve a little bit easier. So, we're going to go ahead and grab our tweezers and we're going to take that and add that onto the tire. Just making sure that it's where I want it here. Fitting it to the curve. Writing by to say, the happy birthday is going to go there. I also want to get my little presents into the basket. Gonna add that with a little bit of foam adhesive as well just gonna stick that so that it's looks like it's all in there and I also want to adhere my happy birthday with a couple of little foam squares as well so get the release paper off that and add that on with our tweezers that looks pretty darn good <gasps> Guess what guys, our card is finished. That's our whole card. So I really love how this turned out. I love the Bicycle Builder set, it's so fun. The Riding By set coordinate, coordinates so beautifully with this set. And of course the coordinating honey cuts with the Riding By set are just perfect for cutting out all of your little bits. There's balloons that you can cut out to decorate and all kinds of really fun things. You could put some flowers in your basket with that set as well coordinates beautifully so thanks so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this format um, instead of a voiceover the crafting along with me live so to speak but but recorded and so yeah i did link up to all of the products i've used today in the description box below so make sure that you check that out make sure that you check out um the facebook buzz honeybee stamps uh, buzzworthy challenges group that's kind of a fun place to go for lots of inspiration too and check out honeybee on instagram and all the places where you can find inspiration including the honeybee website the store if you go on there for each one of the products there's tons of samples from the design team that you can look at for more inspiration for how to use these different products from honeybee stamps thank you so much everybody for joining me today and i'll see you next friday for another project Bye bye